Welcome back everybody to Desktop Inventions. Now today we're doing a little bit of an upgrade on the supercharged blower design from last time. And this time I've got something special up my sleeve. So on the surface here, this looks pretty similar to our previous design, but what's different is, let's say we want to change these 4020 fans to some 4010 fans. Well, we can do that. And it's never been easier. And we can do that because this front blower piece is attached with magnets. Say you want to change the nozzle, never been easier. Want to take a selfie with your hot end, never been easier. So in this video, we're going to finish the design. This is just a prototype piece here. And we're going to show you how you can assemble this and make this for yourself. So let's get to it. So before we get started with the new magnetic design, let's take a look at where we left off in the last video. So after nine versions, this is where we ended up with this design. And I saw some great comments in the comment section below that said, let's take this front 30 millimeter fan and upgrade it to a 40 millimeter fan. So that's exactly what I did with this design derivative. So let's get that swapped out and see how it looks. Now this is probably about my 20th time to swap out this printing head design on this printer. And that's where you can start to see the problem. It takes a good 15, 20 minutes to get this swapped out. And that's mainly where I got my inspiration to make today's design, which uses magnets to attach and is much quicker to change over. Wow, this really does take a long time. Good thing we're watching it at 20 times speed, or this would take forever. And there you have it. That's swapped over with a 40 millimeter fan on front, and it's even more quiet than it was before. And the new color scheme looks great. Also in the comment section, I got some feedback that people would love to see a version of this with the stock Ender 3 hot end. So that's exactly what I made. I made a version here with a nice big square cutout on the front here. So this big heat block can drop right in there. Now all three of these versions are available on Thingiverse and printables. So if you're a fan of this design, Go ahead and check it out and print your own design there. All right, that was a good refresher and a good send off for the screw mounted design. Now let's get on to the magnetic mounted design. So here's the first version of the magnetic mounted printing head. This one was designed from the ground up and has quite a different shape to it. I wasn't sure the best way to print this one. So the first version I printed standing up like this. And unfortunately the logo area was really weak and this broke off right away. Some of the changes I made in this design, so in the duct here, we start with a circular fan shape and we go down to this uh, oblong shape and it is completely smooth in the transition there. You can see the difference here in the duct between the new magnetic mounted design and the previous screw mounted design. This new duct is a lot smoother, which should allow for better airflow as compared to the previous one. And finally, here's our mounting plate. This will be attached to the printer gantry and the hot end and the extruder will be attached to this. And now the fan duct will attach to the mounting plate, just like this. It's got some screws on the back, so those are attracted to the magnets here. And when this is mounted on there, it's a very tight fit, so there's almost no movement. This was a big concern for me as we have the BL touch mounted on the front here. Now in the first version here, I'll be honest, I had no idea where to put the BL touch, so it kind of got glued on for the first prototype. So we're going to fix that and move on to prototype number two. All right, here's a look at version two of the magnetic supercharged printing head. This time I printed it on the bed just like this. So I minimized the support inside the, the ducts here, but on the back side, there's going to be a ton of support that I'm going to have to depanel. So. We'll see, it might be a nightmare, so let's get to it. Oh no, it broke on me. No, that really sucks. Probably gonna have to see if I can glue this back together so we can salvage it. And before I glue this back together, I'm going to screw this fan on here so it can hold the pieces in place while I glue it. I can't be the only one that does some of these crazy things to save my prints. Let me know in the comment section down below what are some things you've done to save your 3D prints in the past. So the glue is dried now, seems like it's gonna work, so let's take the fan off and see if it holds together. We've got the fan off and it looks pretty good inside and out, so I think it's gonna hold up for as much as we need to do the testing. So let's get to it. Also from version one to version two here, you can see we've opened the fan duct opening to be about twice as large here. Next, we'll be installing four of these M3x5 screws into the fan shroud here. And we'll attach those screws into here, and those will be attracted to the magnets. 
Also, depending on the strength of your magnets, you can also glue magnets onto the printing head as well for some more strength. And here's the mounting plate. This one was very simple. I just printed it on the bed just like this. There's no supports or anything to depanel. And now I'll take four of the magnets and we'll super glue them in these four spots. And now we can take the front blower cover and snap it into place. All right, now let's get this new magnetic mounting plate installed. So I'm using some M3 by 25 screws to hold this hot end onto the mounting plate. And next I'll be installing this Orbiter V2 extruder with some M3 by 10 mounting screws. And next we're going to install this 40 millimeter fan on the front here. This one has a DC converter on it to drop the voltage from 24 volts down to 12. Here I'm using a couple M3 by 15 screws to keep this in place. And now for the top end of this build. So we're going to be installing a couple 4010 Noctua fans with these purple fan covers on top that look like valve covers. So I've got a couple M3 by 20 screws to hold these into place. Alright, with those fans in place, all that's left is to add the BL Touch. So I'm still not 100% happy with this BL Touch mounting. I would like to mount it like this so we can see the logo on the front there, but it's going to be an absolute nightmare to get behind there and change the cable. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having this fan shroud quick and easy to detach if you have to unscrew the BL Touch to get to the connector in the back. So unfortunately for now, I'm going to mount it backwards like this so that the connector is easy to access. So I'm using a couple M3 by 10 screws with some nuts on the bottom. So now all that's left to do is get this mounted onto the printer. So I'm going to connect the front fan first, and then it just snaps right into place with the magnets. Next we'll connect the part cooling fans, and finally the BL Touch. And now we can feed the filament in, and then add on the blower cover. Alright, now that everything's hooked up and running, let's get to some testing. So first I'm going to be doing the water cup test. So all you'll need here is to get a very full cup of water and put it on your printing bed. Disable your steppers and move your gantry up. And then we're going to go ahead and slide this under the printer head. And with the printer settings, we're going to go ahead and turn on these two part cooling fans. And now with your fans on and your printer nozzle just a few millimeters above the water cup, you can visually see the airflow across your nozzle. So the purpose of this test is to make sure that the airflow is coming together at the tip of your nozzle and you don't have anything funny going on. You can see on one of my previous blower designs here where the airflow is a bit separated and was not coming together at the tip of the nozzle, but rather you see two separate dents in the water. Now here's the screw mounted printing head with the 4020 fans. This one has really big printing ducts so the air pattern in the water is quite big. Next up is the magnetic mounted printing head with the 4010 fans. Now this one has a little bit smaller duct so the air pattern is more focused. Finally, here's the same printing head mounted with the 4020 fans. This one has a little bit deeper water dent. For the next test, I'm going to keep the glass of water here, but I'm going to dip my finger in it and I'm going to put it directly below the nozzle. Now I'm gonna to move to the front and to the back and make sure there's no dead spots uh, directly near the nozzle. From some of my older designs, I found there was dead spots directly behind or in front of the nozzle and it caused issues when I was trying to do overhangs on prints. Okay, just finished out some test prints here. This is with the 4010 fans. We also did some prints with the 4020 fans. So this is a simple overhang test from 40 degrees up to 80 degrees. And on both of these prints, they are printing pretty similarly. Uh, things are looking good at 60, 70 degrees and then fall apart at 80 degrees. Also, here's the 4020 version, also looking good up to 70 degrees and then falls apart at that last 80 degree step. So the testing so far is going pretty well, but there's something here that's still in the need of a major upgrade. Something's just not right. 
I think we're just not getting enough performance out of the smaller blower. So let's get rid of that and let's put on a big monster blower. Because bigger is always better, right? Alright, now let's take a look at this new blower upgrade in action. Wow, look at that thing just absolutely flying through the speed benchy. And here we go, our first benchy printed out from the new printing head design. Overhangs are looking pretty good, and this printed in just over an hour. Alright, now let's do a real time printer head swap. Done. Almost as fast as a NASCAR pit stop. Okay, I think that's where we're going to leave the video off today. It is really nice to have this printing head easily swappable on and off. Is it that practical? Well, I'll let you decide. It is pretty nice for some nozzle swaps, but I'll admit it's not the perfect design. I think the BL Touch is just in a bad spot. I think I may do a design in the future where the BL Touch is actually attached to the mounting plate here so that it's not moving from print to print. Other than that, I think the design looks awesome. The blower is definitely an upgrade and it's functional now with these butterflies opening and closing. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like or comment down below and there will be more videos coming in the future. So I'll see you next time at Desktop Inventions.